Welcome back everyone. Today's tool is called the design specification document. Hope you enjoy it. All right, welcome everyone. I'm super excited to welcome you back to our communication tools series. Uh, today's tool is we're going to go over the design specification. So like we said, we're always going to start with a who, what, where, why, and how. And so let's get right into it. So you'll see the planning questions for the design specification. And again, why do we use those? We use those to really understand why we're using the tool. So when would you use a tool? Right. And so the design specification document is really about understanding what the design is of, of what you're building. Right. So you should be able to document enough details and enough information for the people who are going to do the building to take that information and build the product. So when would you use, who's going to use it? Why would you use it? Right. Well, really to understand the design of the project. How are you going to use it? Where well, you're going to document the details and the design concepts for developing that final product. You'll see how you distribute the information. A lot of stuff's done on CADs, uh, document control systems, emails, presentations. How will you distribute it, right? What decisions do you make? Again, if you're constructing a project, you're building a project, you're going to need this tool to really outline the design of the tool. Does that make sense? Yeah, so again, all these questions are available and I can show you that uh, later coming up. Um, but again, let's jump into the tool. And so this uh, comes directly out of my book, The Project Management Communication Tools. Um, and so when we look at this, the design specification document describes the product's technical specifications. Every product has a design specification that ranges from a scrap of paper to multiple elaborate computer-generated computer designs. So I love that, right? And so as we look through it, and we immediately get to this template. Now, I'm going to just pause there for a second. There's hundreds and hundreds of templates. Totally get that. I'll show you a quick little uh, Bing search that I did. Uh, but again, when you're looking at the at the the specifications, um, we're going to want the project overview, the design objectives, the design constraints, some of the architecture, the system design, some of the interfaces that you're going to have to allow for, some of the reporting. Um, and so again, there's hundreds and hundreds of templates out here. We just picked one, uh, but it gives you all the details around how you would and what you would do with that tool. So design specification document, very, very critical, needed on all projects when you're designing something, when you're building something. And so again, uh, we, I just simply in this particular uh, tool in this chapter of the book is we just basically walk through how you would use it. So lots of good information there. Um, and I did say I would uh, show you the search. So if you go out and you search the internet using Bing and just say design specifications template, you'll see that tons and tons come back. So I'm not saying my template's the only one out there to use. Highly recommend you do use that. But again, um, you can go to the internet uh, search using Bing or Google or whatnot, and you'll see tons and tons of examples. So just wanted to touch bases real brief called the design specification template. Um, hopefully you guys are already using it today. Uh, thank you very much. If you like uh, the video, like it, share it, comment, I'll see you online. Thanks. Bye. Excited to walk you through this. So as part of our course that we've been walking through, the Project Management Communication Tools course I've been putting up on YouTube and you guys have been watching, um, a lot of people are asking me about how do I get the actual files and how do I get this information. So a couple things I wanted to point out. Um, if you jump into the paid tools, there's really two or three components I want to show you here. First of all, all the various PDF files. So for projects, for small projects, here's a PDF file and what we've done, and you've seen this before, but we've broken down the tools of what you should use for small projects, what you should use for medium projects, what you should use for large projects. So we've broken all those down. And so as we go through this course, you're going to see, and I'll just jump into one of them, for example, um, you're going to see it's really a PDF of the book. Um, it's 158 pages. So as you, we go through the course and we look at uh, customer requirements and you actually see all the text and stuff that we're going through, that comes directly from the book. Um, and so what we've done here is we've broken them down. So small projects from one week to three months. Here are the tools in initiation. Here are the tools in planning and so on and so on. So you guys can go check those out on my store at any time. 
um, come back and again of course there's the medium projects and then for large projects now again if you're looking for the tools so you actually love these and you don't want to hand type these these tools are certainly right available right there so again it's really really important as we walk through um, and you guys understand the tools and you want to start using the tools you can certainly hand type all these tools uh, not a problem or you can spend that low low price and grab these tools and make them available for you right now so very very excited I just want to spend a couple minutes it's dowpublishingllc.com slash store dash two um, very easy to find the files are right there and again thank you very much and I'll talk to you all soon thanks